are going to fight both things. Okay. Uh, let's dive down. We're going to uh, target Gandalf. We're going to deal two damage to this wolf. And then we are going to tap Craterhoof Behemoth. Tap it. Okay. Drawing a lot of cards here. Craterhoof. That's fight. Okay. All right. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. That's not bad. All things considered. What is up, everyone? Justin Parnell back with more Historic Brawl, and we have more Lord of the Rings. Today, we are rolling with Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf, like many a blue-red legend, loves instants and sorceries. Gandalf is a 3-4 avatar wizard for one blue and red. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you choose one that hasn't been chosen. That's right. You can only do each of these one time. You could tap or untap a permanent, yours or your opponent's. Gandalf deals three damage to each opponent. You can copy an instant or sorcery you control. That's a powerful one. And then you put Gandalf on top of your deck. So obviously that last one is not one that we want to do very frequently, but we do want to cast a lot of instants and sorceries to get the rest of these benefits. So we have a deck that is an instant sorcery based deck. I know, what a surprise. But one thing that we've also added uh, as a little wrinkle is the ability to continually reset Gandalf, of course, with instants and sorceries. So we have things like Essence Flux. We have things like Planner Incision. We have things like Siren's Ruse, Tefri's Time Twist, Blur. I haven't played that one very often. Uh, even things like Illusionist Stratagem to reset Gandalf so we can avoid that last ability of putting it on top of our deck and then having to recast him. To do that, we need to make sure that it's the third spell that we cast, not the fourth, because the fourth will resolve, uh, the ability resolved before the spell resolves. The rest of the deck is really a lot of instants and sorceries caring about stuff, just like you are used to seeing all over the place. But we're not doing any of the token makers. That's kind of the thing, because we don't want to have creatures out before we start casting our instants and sorcery we want to go ahead and just cast them because we have plenty so we have things that care about instants and sorceries that we've already cast like you know crackling drake or enigma drake drake's really like instants and sorceries as it turns out or things like shipwreck dowser to get our instants and sorceries back so will this version of the deck work i don't know maybe it either will or it won't. Uh, we're either going to get smashed or we're going to do really well, so let's find out what it is. Before we get to the game, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you keep seeing this sweet, sweet content every day. And if you want to level up your game, check out Metify and book a coaching session with some of Magic's best players like Reed Duke, Luis Salvato, and Raphael Levy. Use my affiliate link to help yourself and this channel at the same time. All right, uh, go first against Thassa Deep Dwelling. I got some burn. We do have a red land here. Despite what it looks like. Or what it looks like is a uh, sorcery. Big beefy sorcery. All right, we'll pass the turn. Probably going to fail to get rid of this dive down. Yeah, okay. Faithless looting. Swan song. All right. Cool. That's fine with me. You know what? I guess we'll just uh, we'll attack you with a bird. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not even mad about it. All right. I do need some lands though. Shore up. Shore up. Shore enough. All right. Here we go. Attack with a bird. Uh, you know what? Let's hold up red. Okay, let's get rid of dive down. And... Royal Eruption. Actually... Yeah, let's get rid of Royal Eruption. Okay. We're done. All right, we'll just beat you down with this honker here. All right, seismic wave. Always, always has a chance for excellence. 
We got the burn. Opt. If I could play Thassa, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. Do they want to play Thassa? We'll just beat down with the bird in the meantime. I mean, surely they got counter spells here. All right. Gandalf. And didn't hold up a blue. All right. Well, it's going to get countered either way, so... Dismiss. Okay, you got it. Move our commander to the command zone. All right. They want to cast Thassa? No. Okay. In that case, we will continue the bird beatdown. And then we're going to throw a bunch of burn at their face. All right. Gandalf. Saw it coming. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we'll move our commander to the command zone. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Uh, we just need to get in like one good crack with this Hall of Storm Giants, and then I think we can burn them out. Okay, so this is going to be a Auron's Epiphany. I think this is the time. Got our good crack in. Because it's got Ward 3. Alright, put them to 8. They're going to take another turn, make a couple of birds. Ooh, okay. No such no such thing. Alright. I mean, let's just try to burn them out. Let's try. Let's give it a good try. Alright. First, we're going to play Magmatic Channeler. Okay, how do we feel about that? How do we feel about old Magmatic Channeler? We got the burn right here. Sublime Epiphany. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll let that resolve. All right, uh, so let's deal them two damage and make a treasure. Let's Static Discharge them, deal them three, and then for our Coup de Gras, shock their face, finish them off, Mono Blue goes down, and we get to see their Allard's Epiphany that we knew about. You love to see it. All right, we are on the play against Azusa Lost But Seeking, and the good news is we can ma we can smash Azusa with multiple times. We have a Molten Impact, we have an Electrolyze. I'm gonna play this as a land. On the play, so we get to play Rowan. And Azusa is going to come out next turn. There's not a whole lot we can do about it. Or is there? Let's deal four here. And the next incident of sorcery we play, we will be able to deal three damage somewhere. So we're going to play Rowan out. Oh yeah, start going upstairs. Here we go. So we got three damage coming in hot with Molten Impact. All right, there's Azusa. Here comes the lands. Just one land, though. Don't worry. And uh, you know what? Let's... Let's electrolyze their face. Two damage. Then we're going to deal three damage to Azusa. Let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, great. Tapped and passed the turn. We're about to pop off with this emblem. We are definitely going to be popping off. Vivian Reed, okay. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Reveal. We're going to kill Vivian with this static discharge, though. Acidic slime. Ugh. I don't like that. All right. Emblem. Perhaps I need to study more. All right. No holding back. Pay two? We will pay two. Ooh, 
Ooh. It's gonna be seven damage. You have to do better than that. Every defeat is a new beginning. Okay. Current intensity four. Acidic slide. All right, there goes our mountain. Haha, -ha, we have more mountains. Surprise. All right, we'll pass the turn. If, you, if they play something, we can crush two things. And if they don't, we'll just opt twice. Growing rights. Okay. What do they find with growing rights? Hopefully something with two toughness or less. Oracle of Moldiah. That is definitely has two toughness or less. Okay. Opt. Yeah, we'll pay. Uh, we'll keep that. Draw. We'll keep that draw. Great. That feels really good. Uh, this emblem, that's nice. I like having the emblem. And, uh, yeah, we'll pass the turn. Then we'll play Gandalf. Hold up a dive down in case they try to get fancy. Alright, there's Oracle. Okay, there's a land on top. Unfortunate. Two lands on top. Very unfortunate. Okay. Bone Crusher Giant. Two damage. We'll copy it. Two damage. Crush. Crush. That's right. It's Paramore Song now. Okay, it's Stomp, but you know what I mean. Alright. Gandalf. With a little dive down protection. Now we're just going to try to burn him out. Tovalar's Huntmaster. Oh my. Okay. That makes a lot of, uh... Makes a lot of wolves there. Great hinge. Okay, things turned around very quickly. That green Grave Titan. Our turn. Okay. The good news is... Uh... Let's see. Electrolyze. You know what I need is Prismatic... Or Prismari Command to destroy this. Okay, uh, we can Molten, we can Molten Impact and get this twice. Okay, let's do that. Alright, Molten Impact. And, uh, Molten Impact targeting here. We're going to uh, deal three damage. And then we will pay two. Molten impact targeting here. Four. Three. And then we have two left over. And uh, yeah, I think we need to attack. We need to get busy. Alright, good. They just take it. That's what I like to hear. Okay. 60. So, we can copy something. We can tap something. We don't really want to copy anything yet. Tooth and nail. Alright. We lose. Got a crater hook behemoth. Ulamog and Craterhoof. Okay. Well, if they put Ulamog onto the battlefield... <laughs> they're going to fight both things. Okay. Uh, let's dive down. We're going to uh, target... Gandalf. We're going to deal two damage to this wolf... And then we are going to tap Crater Hope Behemoth. Tap it. Okay. 
Drawing a lot of cards here. Crater Hoof. That's fight. Okay. Alright, I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. That's not bad. All things considered. Can't fight anything. Okay, we're running out of time, though. <laughs> desperately, desperately running out of time. Okay, we can copy a thing. That we have to, we have to do this. We have to do this now. All right, Siren's Ruse. We'll copy this. Not that it matters a whole heck of a lot. We're obviously not going to do the row and copy. No, we'll decline that. Okay. Deal three. Not going to pay two. No Castle Vantress. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's looking real bad, actually. All right, crash through. Uh, copy. No, we have to, let's untap. Let's untap this mountain. Yeah, sure. No, we're not gonna pay two. No! <laughs> we were so close, not really. Cast a lot of instants and sorceries. All right, we're looking awfully dead now. Could have saved the Consider to save Gandalf, but we know they have Ulamog coming, so we're dead, we're toast. Absolutely toasted, toasted and roasted. All right, we are going first against Tamiyo Field Researcher. This is a pretty aggressive hand, so I think we can keep it. Start with old Terry, good old Terry. Everybody loves Terry. Terry's very popular. All right, opponent uh, has the no sleeves, sleeves. Very much appreciated. And uh, I think they're on the mulligan to six. Probably deciding what they want to put back. We're gonna start with Terramander. Mainly because of the adorable factor. They actually mulligan to five. And let's see, Delighted Halfling. What happens when you stomp a Delighted Halfling right on the top of their head? I hate to do it, but you know, I don't hate it that much. All right, let's uh, let's keep it moving. Just just put the pressure on. But I get that gotta get that pressure on before Tamio comes to town. Authority of the consoles. Deification. Okay. Tamio. So as long as you control a creature, uh, you can't. they can't get rid of Tamio. So if we make them, you know, say, not control a creature. No kicker. Uh, they're going to gain a life. We'll piece together. We're going to copy it. Draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. Draw some more cards. Our creatures gain first strike. And then we will attack. 19. That little haughty Jin. Haughty Jin's pretty good. An opponent scoops it up. Cannot handle the pressure. Yes. We loved it. Later, Tamio. All right. On the play against Catilda Dawnheart Prime. We have a lot of ways to kill Catilda and a Snapcaster Mage and a Shore Up when we eventually, you know. We have, when we eventually find our way to being able to play our commander, so. We'll see. Lunark Veteran? No problem. Whoa! We skip our turn? That's not good. How did I skip my turn? Did I have just a brain delay? 
Okay. In a strange twist of events, uh, it didn't matter at all <laughs> that we skipped our turn because we don't, we don't have a third land. So, uh, just a show of, um, you know, show of arrogance, I suppose. Okay, Katilda. These all can make mana. All right, now they can't. Stomp. Stomp on Katilda's head. Collected company. That makes more sense. Well, Dauntless Bodyguard? For real? That's, Im that's impressive. I mean, true, that's really impressive. Ooh, Seismic Wave. That's going to be a good one. Not yet. It will be a good one. Play with fire. Man. Seismic wave. Two damage to any target and one to each non-artifact creature. That can clean them out. Take them to the cleaners. Alright, is Katilda going to return? Katilda's back. She's back, baby. Oh god, please let me get a land. Please let me get a land. Holding something up. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lightning bolt Katilda in our upkeep, in their upkeep rather. All right, I know they have some sort of hex hexproof nonsense. I'm just gonna make them use their mana now rather than free on their turn or on our turn. God, let me just get this seismic wave. Come on. Shepherd of the flock. Shepherd of the Waka Flock of Flame. Okay. So, Seismic Wave, again, two damage to any target and then one to each non-target, non-artifact creature. So, Katilda could come back. They will. They could flashback join the dance, which I would really like if they did. That would be pretty great. Not all heroes carry swords. Settle the wilds. Okay, and then they get a five drop. And then... I just play... We play Shepherd of the Flock? Alright. Come on, give me a land! <sighs> Kill Katilda. <laughs> we just can't let them... We, just, we can't let them uh, put plus one, plus one counters on their creatures. We just we'll lose the game. <laughs> we'll lose the game on the spot. Augur of Autumn. Okay. Okay. We can we can work with Augur of Autumn. Come on. Land. Yes. Oh god. What do we need? Then we need red more. All right. Seismic wave. All right. Two damage here. And then one damage to everything. Oh, that is very satisfying. That is extremely satisfying. Pew, 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 pew. That's good stuff. All right. This, uh, all their other creatures get plus one, which is bad news. But the good news is we can, here's Warcrafting. Let's get Rivendale. Yeah, they're gonna gain a life. Let's play Rivendale and pass the turn. Okay. They're at 34. That's a long way home. We do have a big crackling Drake, though. Something to be said for that. Okay, Katilda cost a bunch. We have Snapcaster Mage with a Seismic Wave yet again. <laughs> Ranger of Eos. Okay. I think we're going to get the Crackling Drake down first. I imagine they're going to get, like, Soul Warden and... They got Thraven Inspector and uh, Esper Sentinel. Okay. You got it. 
We're going to take two. Okay, negate. They have a five drop in their hand. I bet it's not a creature. Now why, on Earth, would I not want to hold up one of each? All right. See if we can throw this little land blocker down. They got something big. They got a five drop because of that Settle the Wilds. This got them their fifth land. Popping a clue. Oh, it was oh it was uh, Maja. I thought this cost four, cost five. Okay. Or it was Trishani Discord. Can't negate that, can I? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's block here. Take eight. They're gonna gain a life. In the turn. Our turn, okay. Gonna land. Uh, I think we have to Snapcaster Nahiri's Warcrafting. Which we shouldn't have played, uh, shouldn't have played the land in case we hit a land. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, we don't need to, okay. we don't need to play that. Okay. Gain more life. No attacks. We're holding on for dear life here. If I don't have anything fancy, oh boy. Has haste? <laughs> I believe that we're dead. I gotta say, this one came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, okay. You know what? Uh, I'll block. I'll block this. Doesn't have trample. We are super dead. I did not see the terrasse coming. I did not see it coming. I will be honest. I'll be honest. All right, opponent goes first. That's a Tully Primal Conqueror. This is a bit of a slow hand. It's not terrible, though. But it's pretty slow. I think we need a mulligan. See if we can find something better. Okay. Got some removal in case they try to ramp. We have uh, opt and then negate uh, to if they try to ramp with non-creatures. So, should have a lot of it covered. Oh my god. Aha! We have a blocker, though. I will block. Try me, monkey. I dare you. I dare you to try me. Alright. I'll block. No question. Never for a second thought about not blocking. Never, never even for one second did I consider not blocking an option. I just got to use a one blue removal spell on Ragabon. That one's okay. The double ones are the ones that we need to counter. Into the north. Into the north is fine. Elvish Mystic. Great. Mountain? I will keep that mountain. Funny you say that. Okay, more mountains. All right. Well, Pillar of Flame. Okay. I know you got I know you got some fine two lands cards. Gore Claw, okay. That's not a problem. We can get Gore Claw too. We'll get them all. And we got one little damage left over in case, you know, they try to play a little mana elf or something. Cold Steel Heart. That is also fine. Play a little one-mana elf. Perfect. Perfection. Okay. Search for Ascanta. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to make a treasure and destroy an artifact. Uh, treasure, artifact. Oh, we happen to have one little damage. Boop. Now, is our opponent going to draw a land and slam a tally? I would say almost 100%. But in the event that they don't, 
Oh, is a tapped land. Tapped lands are good. I like tapped lands. Pathway? No. Let's put that in the bin. Alright. We'll play this mountain. And we'll play this Gandalf. Okay. Well, if they get something nasty that's not a creature, we can at least counter that. Alright, here comes a Tali. Tali resolves. We actually played our commander before a Tali, which is pretty remarkable. Was that a Great Hinge? I would like to counter Great Hinge, please. Yeah. And then here's Warcrafting, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. But uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to negate the Great Hinge. And then we're going to untap this permanent. Yes. And then we are going to give this creature Hexproof. And then we're going to deal them three damage. Pretty good. Seagate Restoration. We don't have any cards in our hand, so we're going to bend this. I'd like to transform. Consider. Consider's not bad. Let's uh, let's go looking though. Let's see what we can find. Disdainful stroke. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get this disdainful stroke. They know we have it, but that's okay. No attacks. They cannot flip this. Cost them nine. They only have eight. Vivian Reed. All right. We will counter Vivian Reed. Uh, and do we want to put Gandalf? I mean, we don't want to put Gandalf back, but I suppose that we will. Uh, library. Put him on top. We're going to take seven. Uh, we'll put Gandalf in our hand. We will play Gandalf. And then we will say go. All right, we'll take seven more. No problem. It's a little bit of a problem, but, you know. No problem, all things considered. Arbored Scrap Gorger. Okay, that's fine. Let's deal three damage. Then we can Surveil. Cyba Siphoner. That's actually, that could be good, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to keep this Cyber Cypher. We put a stop on our upkeep. So that way we can play Cyber Cypher before we draw. And get something back and it costs less mana. And let's get back uh, Nahiri's Warcrafting. Oh, there's Banefire. Okay. I think we can get them next turn. All right. Uh, do we want to copy a thing? Oh, we don't want to copy a thing. No, I don't want to do that. All right, we're gonna un untap this. Maybe we'll hit a land. Untap that permanent. Kill three. We hit a land. Okay, excellent. All right. Okay, I think we're going to attack for three with Gandalf. And then we're going to pass the turn. And if we can copy Banefire on our next turn, we can double Banefire them. So they can transform this, and then they can hit us for nine. I mean, that's, that's... That's not great, but it's fine. Okay. We go to two, and we have nine poison. Nine poison. All right. 
Let's go looking. Doesn't really matter what we find. We'll get a shore up. Uh, and then, how much mana do we have? We have seven. So good. Yeah, we will pay. Uh, we will copy this Bane Fire. And we will Bane Fire them. Boom! Boom! Perfect. Perfection. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, on the play against old Kenny. Kenny, Kenny boy, the return king. And we'll keep this... We'll ball again. Right, this is a better hand. This is a better hand. Uh, we do have a big late game. We do have a big late game card in Mizzix Mastery. Warlord's Fury, we could just cycle. And that's what these are in here for. All right, and we'll just do that. Just dig a little bit deeper into our deck. <clears throat> Arcane Signet, okay. Magmatic Chandler, that's not a bad one to have. So Magmatic Chandler, not a card we get to play very often. Looks like it might bite the dust here, and it's going to. So you know what, we'll talk about it anyway. It turns into a 4-4 if you have four or more instants of sorceries in your graveyard, which we were gonna. But uh, you could discard a card, then exile the top two cards of your deck, and then play one of them. Pretty solid little card. Disdainful dro Stroke, uh, perfect for countering old Kenrith. The Lord Mighty Kenrith, the returned king. <laughs> Only returned once. Didn't return the second time. We can definitely confirm that. Okay. Let's see. I don't think we want to Mizzix Mastery, so we're just going to chill. Invent Invert is great. Well, Invert Invent is great. Uh, you can tutor for an instant or a sorcery. Ooh, Golos. No, we can't mess with Golos. we got to counter you. You have a counter spell? Negate? Well, that's not very nice. Alright. So be it. Golos resolves. They sniff that one out. Not that, you know, a blue-red deck passing multiple turns in a row. They probably figured out we got a counter spell. Okay. Terry Mander. Good old Terry. Alright, Terry Mander. We'll pass the turn. And this is not looking good. Not looking good for the, the home team here. Because they either got... Good lord. Dark Ritual in? Alright, I'll cast Ulamog. Oh. Just want to have four mana up. Okay. Land, land, wash away. Okay. That's not so bad. Especially when they've already played their land. Yeah, get out of here. Scholar of the Ages. Still not helpful. All right, pass the turn. I, I wouldn't imagine we want to invert. All right. Let's try it again. Pack negation and two lands. Okay. I guess we won't cast anything. I mean, it's a really expensive way to get a land. That's for sure. Attack for three. All right, our turn. Crash through. Let's crash through. Our creatures gain trample. Good job, Terramander. Right. Island. And... So we're just going to attack more. Attack for one. You really want to kill this Terramander? Hero's downfall. Alright. Let's have you slip out the back. It's not even there anymore. You think it's there, but it's not there. All right, we could we could just go bash him with this Terramander. All right, Golos. Two more lands and Paradise Druid. You got it. We'll take three. All right, Terramander's back. Back in business. 
Let's just play Gandalf. All right, now we'll attack for two with Terramander. We don't have a counter spell, and we're not going to win the waiting game. They have 11 lands. They have an active Golos. Like, we got to get busy living or get busy dying. Literally in this case. Okay, they had, had, had some hits this time. Kaya and Discover the formula. That's a yikes. That's a big yikes. All right. Kaya's going to try to exile something. Yeah. We're going to shore up here. Uh, let's deal three to each opponent. Okay. A little hexproof action. Time warp? Yeah? Uh, really, time warp. That You felt like that was necessary? This deck was struggling to compete. As is. Kenrith, Golos. Basically, I think they probably just went through and they were like, let me get every Mystical Archive card. And I get to take Mizzix Mastery. That's cute. Great news. Oh, Mergen Ultimatum! Oh, I'm so excited to see you. I thought that for some reason, maybe, our opponent was going to do something interesting. You know what? We've had enough. Had enough of this in a lifetime. Enjoy. All right, we are on the draw against Zada Hedron Grinder. And I don't think this is a great hand. We're going to mulligan. This hand is significantly better. We'll keep. Warlord's Fury. Man, they're going hard, too. Going going hard in the paint for uh, for some cantripping. We have a few more cantrips, fortunately. We get to play this Magmatic Chandler on turn two. That's pretty nice. And our Storm Carved Coast on turn three. Wily Old Goblin. This is a, the wiliest goblin I've ever seen. All right. Magmatic Chandler. Let's go. Okay. I mean, Zada gets to come down. Ooh, Zada's going to wait, which is good, because we don't have a removal spell for Zada yet. Firebrand Archer. That's probably going to pick up a shock. Probably, probably definitely going to pick up a shock. Maybe we can maybe we can get up to uh Uh Yeah, let's get rid of this uh actually, let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're going to shock this. Now we're just going to chill. Play this card this turn. Probably could have done that instead of hitting a land, but you know what? We'll be fine. We're just gonna hold up, hold up here. This is, I would say, probably not not the best use of our, not the best use of our turn. But we did it anyway. For each other creature you controlled that that spell could target. Ancestral anger. Ancestral anger is a good one. All right, we'll resolve them all. We're gonna draw a bunch of cards. Draw three cards. That's pretty good. Ancestral Anger, more like Ancestral Recall. Because that's exactly what it was. Okay. Can they expedite? No. Okay, good. That's good. Our turn. Alright. Okay. Let's discard. Let's discard Shore Up. Meld through. All right. Let's meld through this Wily Goblin. And then we're going to Gandalf's Sanction on Zada. All right. All right, we've done it this time. All right, Zada may be able to return. And now Magmatic Chandler is a 4-4, which uh, 
That's pretty good. We can Mizzix Mastery Zada if they play Zada again. If Zada returns right now, which it could, they have six. Okay. Zada will return. Take one. Play with fire. You know what? Let's uh, let's just Mizzix, Mizzix Mastery this Gandalf's Sanctions. And then we'll get uh, we'll get Zada here again. We're gonna go ahead and play with fire here, and then we can attack for four. All right, attack for four. Now we can Cyber Siphoner in return, but I think we probably want to play Gandalf on our next turn. They can go in with Dinner the Bugbear. All right, that's a pretty good use of their turn. They're going to attack for four. We'll attack them for four back. If we don't draw... Oh, a Dreadlord Archivist. Ooh, Haughty Jin. Haughty Jin, that's pretty good. Okay. I think we hold up the Cyba Siphoner. Actually, let's not be, let's not be crazy. Let's just play Gandalf. Let's just play Gandalf. It's going to be difficult for them to make it through Gandalf. Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. And now next turn, we will be able to put more pressure on. Okay. And what are we returning? Probably Warlord's Fury. Yeah. And that's going to give everything... Uh, that's going to give everything First Strike. And then they draw. A.K.A. We're not blocking. No, thank you. We'll take whatever damage you are trying to send our way, but we're not blocking. Too easy to just uh, throw a three damage burn spell on Gandalf, and then there's nothing we can do about it, and it gets taken down by a little first strike and goblin? I don't think so. Skirk Prospector. Okay. Now, if they can do four damage to Gandalf, then so be it. Terry Mander. Okay. So, let's play Terramander. Then we're going to Cyba Siphoner. Oh, we could activate Terramander first. Have some big honking fellows. But I think for right now, we're just going to chill. And we're going to start our offensive on our next turn. When we got it all. All right, there's Zada. All these do two damage. Gonna attack. Yep. Ancestral Anger. Gonna draw them a casual five cards. All right, resolve all. God, so many. Okay. I get trample, all this nonsense. I should have done this before, because now they can kill this. Oh, they, they couldn't kill it. Okay. That's good. All right, two blockers. Block the biggest thing. Block the next biggest thing. Block this. Now, I'm sure they can take out one thing, but I don't know if they can take out multiple things. God, if they have Reckless Rage, they can take out everything. Brute Strength. Okay. All right. We're going to take one, uh, two here. We're going to take a lot of damage. We're at eight. Okay. 
Royal Eruption. Hallelujah. Haughty Jin. It's Royal Eruption Zada before any sh other shenanigans take place. And let's untap this uh, island so we can Cyber Siphon her. Yeah. Okay. So I was going to go back. We're going to attack for three. And we're going to make an attempt to kill them on our next turn somehow. I don't exactly know how. Young Pyromancer. All right. Five cards left. I can probably play all of those. Foundry Street Denizen. Yeah, sure. Hot Fire Immolator. Absolutely. You know what I need? I might need to draw some cards. I don't have anything that can draw cards. The Rahilda. Okay. I need Seismic Wave. That's what we need. I need Seismic Wave to finish these off. A copied Seismic Wave? That would be something special. Be our best possible draw by leaps and bounds. Okay. All right, Cyber Siphoner. Who we're gonna block with. And let's get back Royal Eruption because it's the most damage. Now, Heartfire Immolator can team up to take it down or they could give this a bump or something. I, I know they got something. They're not just running, trying to run this into Haughty Gen, but. Okay. So, have First Strike and Trample? Of course it does. Always has First Strike and Trample. Okay. I could Snapcaster Royal Snapcaster. Is that enough? All right. Royal Eruption. Let's deal... Let's, uh... Let's copy it. I think it's enough. I think... I think we're gonna get them. Oh my god, we're gonna get them. Snapcaster Mage is gonna get them. <laughs> Do we deserve this win? No. No. Absolutely not. Did we get the win anyway? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. All that damage in the last turn. Whew. That's close. Well, that was Gandalf the Grey. I mean, we had some real tight ones. Uh, I'm unsure about that deck. I think that there probably are better ways that I could build it. Maybe go a little bit less on the, uh, the blink aspects and maybe even go more aggressive than we were already. Maybe that's that's the way to go. Or maybe go in the complete opposite direction, like go significantly more controlling. I found myself kind of being in the middle a lot and uh, being on the other side of a deck that was much faster or much more controlling than me. And, and that ultimately was a problem as we saw. And we were able to squeak away a number of wins. And I think we had a winning record, but uh, it was a significant amount of work to get there. So... If you have a better way to build this deck, in the comments, please let me know. I'm very curious to hear what you would want to do. Of course, if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube, you can follow me on social media right down here. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm Justin Parnell. We'll see you next time.